from the innovative minds that dreamed it to be the fearless and hardworking workers who built it, the journey of the construction of the Statue of Unity had danger and uncertainty at every turn. The insane way in which the world's tallest statue was built is a testament to what human beings are capable of achieving when they set their minds to it. Watch the video to the end to know all about it. The Statue of Unity, standing at the extraordinary height of 182 meters, is located in the western Indian state of Gujarat. It was built to honor the life and work of Siddhar Vallabhi Patel, a widely known and respected leader of the Indian independence movement. The project took a total of 57 months to complete, 15 months for planning, 40 months for construction, and then an additional 2 months for handing out the contorsium. The project cost around 2,063 crore, which was equivalent to $350 million in 2020. As it was built on the Sadhu Island, which is surrounded by Naramata River, the construction workers faced numerous challenges in the construction process. Not only were they risking their lives, but also needed to find innovative and insane solutions to severe problems. Transportation of the materials itself was a grave issue, and the team had to find a way to transport heavy machinery, materials, and workers to the island. Over 3,000 workers and 250 engineers were employed for the construction and the building material for the statue was required in huge amounts. 210,000 cubic meters of cement and concrete was required for the inner core of the statue, while the outer facade was made with 1,700 tons of bronze plates and 1,850 tons of bronze cattling. But how is everything going to be brought to the construction site? Well, in order to solve this problem, a 3.5 kilometer long temporary bridge across the river was built by the team. It was made up of steel trusses and was sturdy enough to carry the weight of heavy equipment and materials. A lot of people thought that it was insane to put so much effort into making a statue. Several local tribals belonged to the Tadvi tribe, opposed the land acquisition for the development as well. However, the government successfully handled the situation by negotiating and accepting most of their demands. Once the materials had been transported, next came the foundation. The statue's foundation stone was laid by Narahendra Modi, then serving as the chief of Gwajarat in 2013. However, the construction of the base of the statue ended up being quite tricky. As the base is made to support the entirety of the statue, it has been made up into several layers of steel and concrete. It had to hold around 1,700 tons, so a special technique known as slip forming was used to construct it. Now, what exactly is slip forming? Well, it is a process that involves pouring concrete into a continuously moving formwork. When the concrete sets, the formwork creates a seamless concrete structure by moving upwards. This particular technique ensures that the base was strong enough to be able to support the enormous weight and size of the statue. The most insane part of the construction, however, was the erection of the statue itself. After all, Building up a statue twice the size of the Statue of Liberty is certainly not child's play. The statue was primarily built in sections, and each of the sections weighed about 150 to 200 tons, and the next step was to carefully erect one over the other. To lift each of the sections into their proper place, a special technique called a launching nose was used. It is basically a specifically designed cantervealed structure that is commonly used to lift extremely heavy objects. The launching nose that was used for the construction of the Statue of Unity was the largest of its kind and weighed around 500 tons. It was erected on top of the statue's base and then the sections were fixed into their places with the use of a hydraulic jack. The same process was repeated until the entirety of the statue was put into its rightful place. In addition to the launching nose, another technique known as synchronized jacking, it involves the use of not one, but several hydraulic jacks to lift a heavy object. This technique was used to make sure that the entirety of the statue was lifted evenly and did not tilt or collapse due to the unequal distribution of the weight. The construction of the monument was finally completed in mid-October 2018 and the inaugural ceremony was held for it on the 31st of October 2018. On the 143rd death anniversary of Vallabhi Patel, the ceremony was presented over the Prime Minister Narada Modi 
and the statue was widely recognized not only as the world's largest statue, but also a tribute to Indian engineering skills, becoming a symbol of unity and strength. That was all for today's video. Click on any of the two videos on the screen right now for more content.